There's a reason I was drawn to you. So this is a sweet, lighthearted, is it a, I mean, it kind of goes between comedy, romantic drama and comedy. What would you describe it as? Yeah, I, I mean, I think you kind of nailed it. It's, it's a, it's a romantic dramedy with a, with a, with a twist. Um, I think it's, it's hard to distill exactly what it is because it's kind of uh, goes through a lot of sub genres of movie. Yeah. Um, it, you know, kind of lines up with like the, the, the rom-coms that I love that on the surface, like, is this a rom-com? But like Eternal Sunshine is a rom-com. Uh, Groundhog Day is a rom-com. Stranger Than Fiction, About Time. These are all like rom-coms that kind of subvert the genre a little bit and, and bring more to it. And uh, that's what I was trying to do with this. Well, it's, it's such a sweet story because, you know, most of, most of the time we have um, people meet, it becomes sexual in nature. But this one, you know, it's, it's sexy, but it's mostly about the intimacy, about talking with each other and just fun talk. And it was really nice to see. And it's a great time right now for kind of a lighthearted moments like that, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, the thing, one of the things, I mean, the, the, the main character's name is even Vienna is like, it's, that's a tribute to uh, Richard Linklater, the, the Before Sunrise trilogy, and, and, and those movies are so dynamic, and you fall in love with those characters, and yes, they have sex at one point in the first one, but that's kind of besides the point, it's just like, yeah. you just get to spend time with them, and you get to know the characters so well that you're falling in love with them as they are, and that's what I wanted to do with this, because I think that's really the magic uh, i mean obviously a physical component to a relationship is cool yeah. but that's not the thing that lasts that's not the thing that really draws you to one another so i wanted to make sure that you just had a sense of that kind of uh, intangible magic that you that happens when you fall in love and when you they first encounter they're asking each other um you know they're kind of feeling each other out and be like and chloe asks uh, Finn's character, are you a murderer? And I, I hark back to his role on Freak Show on American Horror Story, and I thought, yes, he is a murderer. <laughs> Did you yeah. think of that? Was that like some the little hints at what he's done before? No. Or just totally random. <laughs> it was in the script before that, but like once I became once once we had Finn, I was like, well, this works out well because <laughs> I, I uh, uh, to be totally honest, I am um, a big old wimp, and I don't do the scary stuff so much. But I know, like, I've seen his work, and like, oh, you're I mean, even in Ratchet, he's, oh boy, he's he's a scary man. Um, so I, I love seeing that, because that's not him and he's the warmest and most gregarious person. So I love that he got to kind of bring a different energy to this. And I think uh, it's really fun and surprising. And the two of them are just fantastic. So I love love them together. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, it's there's some twists in there. Uh, there's some t talk of some time travel, which was really fun. Um, you know, they mentioned Back to the Future. Everyone throws in Back to the Future when they talk about time travel, right? That, that, that's that's the go-to movie. You have to. I mean, look, there's there 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 are classics for a reason. <laughs> and uh, I want to ask. Uh, it was shot in L.A., right? Yes, we shot uh, almost exclusively in L.A., and we were we were in Joshua Tree or you know High Desert for two days. Wow. Yeah, I, I totally recognized it. And was this pre-pandemic or, or during pandemic when you yes, shot this? we shot this mostly August of 2019. So we oh, okay. were lucky enough that we got it in under the wire and we got most of our editing done before pandemic hit. And then we just had to, you know, do all the fun stuff like sound mixing and color correcting remotely, which is weird, but you know, we get through it just like this. <laughs> and here it is, and it's a good time mm -hmm. for it. Yeah. Um, so there's a scene, there's a little gag where they, she, she tells him she doesn't have a cell phone and he totally freaks out and starts asking his friends like, is that weird? Does that mean there's something wrong with her? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where did you get that idea to write that in? Or it, I mean, and is it weird for people not to have cell phones at this point? I mean, kind of. I mean, it's, I guess, I mean, look, I think we'd probably all be a little bit happier. I don't, I, whenever I hearken back to like, you know, in high school and even college, like when you made plans with somebody, like you just had to be there. If you were meeting them at a place, you just had to be there on time. Because otherwise, yeah. like, th that's that's it. Uh, I don't know how I got by when I first moved to LA, like using a Thomas guide, like using maps while driving. It's all chaos. But um, I do think it's weird, probably now that we don't have cell phones. But I and I think it's like a, there's also also a simplicity to it. There's like yeah. a little bit like as much as like he thinks like, that's crazy, right? But also like, maybe that's cool. Maybe that's the way we should live. We should go back to a simpler time where we're not just immediately staring at these computers in our pocket. That's ex exactly what I was thinking. It's not weird. It's actually a good thing that, you know. Yes, I mean, I mean <laughs> anytime- You don't have a cell phone. 
Yeah, anytime I go somewhere and I forget my phone, and it's like for the first 10 minutes, it's it's anxiety. And after that, like, oh my God, I feel free. I'm, I'm out in the world. <laughs> panic mode, panic mode. Mm-hmm. All right, well, thank you so much for the film. I really enjoyed it. And uh, it's a good time uh, to watch this uh, romantic comedy drama. <laughs> yes, well, it was such a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Likewise, thank you. All right, take care. <laughs>